The Park Service says lahars are the number one volcanic hazard that can affect people living below Mount Rainier, so they are adding sensors to the monitoring network and considering putting in even more. Mount Rainier has changed the landscape of Washington before and will someday do it again. But between cataclysmic eruptions, the volcano poses another threat to those living in its shadow. Huge mud flows called lahars. Long ago, some made it as far as Puget Sound. A whole lot of work for not a lot of dirt. <laughs> and that is why Benjamin Pauk with the USGS but rocks. is getting his hands dirty. And the idea is to look for and detect um, debris flows coming down the drainage area. This is one of five new monitoring sites approved inside the National Park boundary, a seismometer buried in the ground. That's a generous one meter, so I'm gonna go a little deeper. And audio equipment strung out to help determine a flow's direction. It all comes back to this box, which sends the info back to their office in real time. There were 12 existing Lahar and volcano monitoring sites at Rainier. Beyond the five additional already approved, USGS and the National Park Service are also considering 12 more, some in wilder or historical areas like Tolmy Peak and the Fremont Lookout. They acknowledge this could change the character of these sites, but hope it will help them get a better picture of what's happening in and around this sleeping giant. For a high threat volcano like Rainier, we'd like to have 20 seismic sensors within 20 kilometers. And uh, we're not quite there at the, at the moment. It's important, they say, because lahars are not just a distant concept from the geological past. This is an area called Cout's Creek. This is a, a lahar deposit from 1947. About 50 million cubic yards of material came down during that event in several pulses. And again in 2006, flows have actually rerouted the creek. This is the debris flow that deposited and then the river popped over into the forest over here. All of these lahars, these mud flows, eruptions, I mean, we know volcanoes like Rainier are very much alive, right? Yes. But their action can be also a threat to the people living below them, right? Yeah. Yeah, Mount Rainier is listed as one of the most hazardous volcanoes in the United States because of the fact it could produce large lahars and there's a large population base at the, volcano, at the bottom of the volcano. Which is why he's excited for the new sites and the proposed ones. And there are a lot of cobbles down here. As the USGS wraps up their work this fall and looks ahead. Why is it so important to have these early warning systems and to make sure that they're as accurate as possible? Uh, the, the big thing is, is that we don't want to be in a situation where we're having to play catch up. Because we can't hope to control the rumblings of this volcano, but we can get a better idea of what might be on the way. Michael Crow, King 5 News.